Hi grade tens. In this video, we are going to be looking at quadrilaterals, which is probably the biggest section of our Euclidean geometry syllabus for this year. A quadrilateral, quad means four. It's a shape that's got four sides. And we are particularly interested in these six different quadrilaterals, okay? So a parallelogram, rectangle, square, trapezium, rhombus, and kite. And there are certain properties that we need to know about each of them. Now, I know that it can feel quite overwhelming to think I need to learn so many properties about so many different shapes. And so I like to break it down and I like to ask, what do I know about the sides? What do I know about the angles? And what do I know about the diagonals? So let's have a look at that for each of these six shapes so that we can put together a helpful summary that should help you in revising this section of work. The opposite angles are equal. So in other words, that and that. Okay, so opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal to each other. And then finally, what do we know about the diagonals? Okay, a diagonal is a line, diagonal, drawn from one corner of the shape to the opposite corner. And in a parallelogram, the diagonals bisect each other. Diagonals bisect each other. Okay, what does that mean? That means that they cut each other in half. So if we look at this diagonal, it has cut this one in half. So that means this piece here is equal to this piece here, and this piece here is equal to this piece here. Okay, so there we go. Nice and helpful. Sides, angles, diagonals. Okay, the next quadrilateral we need to know is the rectangle. So this one we've seen a lot. We learned about this in preschool already. Okay, what do we know about the sides? Opposite sides are equal and parallel. Okay, so that means this one is equal to this one and parallel. And this one here is equal to this one here and parallel. Ooh, just one because it's parallel to that one. Okay, so that's sides. Then the angles in a rectangle. Okay, all angles in a rectangle on 90 degrees. So it's a special parallelogram. So all angles 90 degrees. And then what do we know about the diagonals? Okay, the diagonals once again bisect each other, but because of these 90 degree angles, it actually means that all of them are going to be equal. Okay, so what a nice way to write this diagonals. The diagonals are equal and they bisect each other. All right, so because this whole line is equal to this whole line and they cut each other in half, we can then say, well, then this piece here is equal to this piece here is equal to this piece here is equal to this piece here. Okay, and when we need to build on questions like this, it's great to see, ah, I've got an isosceles triangle here, and I can deal with angles opposite equal sides. Okay, so it's so important to know the properties of a rectangle, because they're not going to tell us this, they're just going to say, it's a rectangle, and we're going to need to know, what about the sides, what about the angles, what about the diagonals? Okay, let's take a look at a square, there is so much information about a square. Sides, all sides are equal. And the opposite sides are parallel. So equal, 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 parallel, parallel. Then what do we know about the angles? Okay, this is very much like the rectangle in that all angles are 90 degrees. Okay, they, the sides meet each other at perpendicular angles. And then we look at the diagonals, and this is really where the square is quite remarkable because it's got so much helpful information. Okay, so first up, the diagonals are equal. Then they bisect each other, but they don't just bisect each other like all the other ones we've looked at so far. They bisect at 
90 degree angles. So in other words, this is equal to this, is equal to this, is equal to this, and each of these angles here in the middle is a 90 degree angle. And because the square is so remarkable, the diagonals also bisect the angles, let's say the corner angles, just so that we know what we're talking about, bisect the angles of this shape. So in other words, this one here is 45 degrees, and this one here is 45 degrees, okay? Because if it was 90 degrees together, and this diagonal has bisected it, in other words, cut it in half, then each of those is going to become a 45 degree angle. Okay, so loads to remember about the square, sides, angles, diagonals. Try to run through that checklist. It really will help you get all of this stuff in your memory. All right, then just to give ourselves a little break, we'll look at the trapezium. Okay, this one is also known by a lot of people as a trapezoid. Okay, so don't panic if you see that. Some people do call it a trapezoid. Okay, a trapezium, let's first of all look at its sides. Okay, and what we know is it's got one pair of parallel sides. Okay, they are the ones across from each other. So that side is parallel to that side. Okay, angles, we don't know anything. It has angles. And it has diagonals, but they are also, there's not something specific to every trapezium we're going to see. But what I can point out to you is to look out for fun. When you are working with these, remember that because we are creating parallel lines here, and we've got these diagonals, we could easily have alternate angles there. And we could easily have alternate angles there. Okay, so that's definitely something worth looking out for when it comes to a trapezium. But if you need to prove that something is a trapezium, you just need to prove one pair of parallel sides. And obviously it needs to be a four-sided shape. Okay, let's take a look at a rhombus. The sides of a rhombus are all equal. It's like a squashed over square. So equal, 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 equal. Okay, then we've got to look at the angles. So the angles of a rhombus. Okay, this is kind of like a parallelogram meets a square. Okay, because the opposite angles are equal here. Okay, so that one and that one are equal and that one is equal to the one opposite it. Okay, opposite angles are equal. And then the diagonals, ooh, we got loads of information here. Thanks to the diagonals, let's have a look. The diagonals are not equal in length, but they do bisect each other at 90 degrees. So in other words, 90, 90, 90, 90. And this half here will equal that half there. And this portion will equal this portion here once it's bisected. Okay, the other thing that these diagonals do is they bisect the angles. Okay, the angles at the vertices or the corners. So in other words, what we've got here is this angle and this angle will be equal, this angle and this angle will be equal, this one and this one, this one and this one. Ah, and another thing on rhombus, which we mustn't forget, is that the opposite sides are parallel. Okay, so let's add that here. And opposite sides, parallel. Okay, so there we have a rhombus. Lots to remember about a rhombus there. And last up in our quadrilateral lineup is the kite. So let's have a look. What do we know about the sides of a kite? It's got two pairs. And now all our other shapes have been opposite, but this one, two pairs of adjacent sides equal. So adjacent means next to. So in other words, these two next to each other and these two next to each other. Okay, they touch there and these two touch there at that vertex. Okay, so two pairs of adjacent sides are equal. Then let's have a look at the angles. What do we know? We've got one 
pair of opposite angles that's equal. So this angle here is equal to this angle here. Okay, but don't feel too bad for the other angles because the diagonals are going to help them along a bit. So let's see the diagonals. All right, diagonals. They intersect, intersect at 90 degrees. Okay, so that, that makes sense. Look at those 90 degree angles. And they also, the long diagonal bisects the other one. So in other words, this piece here, ooh, we've already got two lines. This piece here is equal to this piece here. Okay, so that's bisected. It's quite obvious to see this long piece is not equal to this short piece. So that's bisected. And the other thing that the diagonals does is it bisects, or the long diagonal, let's write that, the long diagonal bisects the core or the vertex angles. Okay, so in other words, this one, thanks to the diagonal, is equal to this one, and this one here is equal to this one here. Okay, no parallel lines in a kite, but it is definitely a quadrilateral with loads of information that we can use. Let's take a look at an example here. So consider the given quadrilateral. Here it is, four sides. It's a quadrilateral. It definitely looks like a trapezium, but let's not assume, okay? Show that x is equal to 20 degrees, and then hence, meaning use what we've proven here, prove that a, b, c, d is a trapezium. Okay, so in order to show that x is equal to 20 degrees, we need to know something about the interior angles of a four-sided shape, okay? And that's, I hope we remember from our junior grades, the interior angles add up to 360 degrees, okay? And those are interior angles of a quadrilateral. Ooh, that's a tight fit. Okay, let's substitute in. So A is X minus 2 uh, plus B is 2 times 2X plus 1. I hope your algebra is good. C is 5X minus 2 plus 2 for D times 4X plus 1. And that equals 360 degrees. Okay, let's multiply in what we can multiply in. X minus 2 plus, that's going to be 4X plus 2 plus 5X minus 2 plus 8X plus 2 equals 360 degrees. Let's collect like terms. They're very kind and that all those twos cancel each other out. And we end up with 18x equals 360. So let's divide both sides by 18. And what do we find? That suddenly x is equal to 20 degrees. We have proven it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this 20 degrees. And I'm just quickly going to work out what is the size of each of these angles. Because I know what x is equal to. So I can quickly on my calculator just fill in a 20 in each of those spots for x. And I can determine the size of each of those angles. Right, so there they are, 18, 82, 162, and 98. And now they say prove that A, B, C, D is a trapezium. Okay, so A, B, C, D is a trapezium. Okay, now what I need in order to prove, prove a trapezium is just one pair of parallel lines. So can I prove something? Would I be able to find an F or a U or an N here? And in this instance, because everything is contained, my greatest chance is in finding a U. So can I make these two angles here equal to 180? Okay, 18 plus 162 does equal 180 degrees. So that's great. Angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, proven, I think we can say, because we know what X is equal to. And so therefore... AB is parallel to CD, and the reason there is that the co-interior angles are supplementary. Supplementary means they add up to 180. Supplementary. And now because we've got a pair of parallel sides, we can say, well, therefore, AB, CD is 
a trapezium. Ooh, trapezium. It's got one, one pair of parallel sides. And there we have it. Okay, so because we knew the properties of a trapezium and the properties of a quadrilateral, we were able to solve this geometry question.